Yeah, so the whole plan is to solve ARC as, as a first step. And I'm pretty optimistic and confident about us being able to do that. And that's kind of step one. So intelligence is a cognitive mechanism that you use to adapt to novelty, to make sense of situations you've never seen before. And it works by creating models on the fly of the new situation by combining together existing building blocks, abstract building blocks, which were mined uh, from your past experience. And there are, there are two key tricks here. One trick is the synthesis trick, whereby you take these building blocks and quickly assemble them uh, to form a program, a model that matches the current task or the current situation that you're facing. And there's synthesis and there's abstraction generation, which is the reverse process in which you're looking at uh, the information you've, av you've got available about the world, like your, your experience, your perception, also the models that you've created to respond to it. And you're going to turn that, distill it into reusable abstractions, which you then store uh, in your memory uh, so that you can use it uh, the next time around. Think like uh, 2D visual puzzles, uh, like an IQ test, a, th a set of a thousand puzzles. Uh, each puzzle is unique and f all in all simple for, for humans to solve. And for each task, you get a handful of demonstration examples and then one test example that you have to solve. And the idea is basically to figure out a certain transformation that happens between two grids and apply that successfully to the input of the test case. And yeah, I think there's two factors which mainly make our card for traditional machine learning approaches. One would be the, the few shot nature uh, of the problem, so you only get a handful of demonstration examples, as well as the great diversity in, in the tasks. For computers, it's definitely the tasks or type of tasks where there's a lot of iteration steps involved and a lot of pieces to deal with. Uh, like let's say you have to assemble a set of pieces and you can't just do it in parallel like the transformation program but you actually have to take many steps to get to the solution i think those are especially hard for for computers or at least depend like for many of the approaches that people take that's the case i hear on the grapevine that you have got a new high score on the arm challenge yeah that's true actually just about 15 or 30 minutes before we met in person, we got that submission update. So that was another one and a half uh, points increment. So um, where have you guys got to now? 54.5. 54.5%. Yeah, it feels great. Uh, yeah, we had some kind of breakthrough. Not going to talk about the details, of course, here, but I'm sure we're going to see, or I think it's highly likely we're going to see some other few points until the end of the competition. How much do you think Francois knows about the way you do it? He knows probably not significantly more than the average other person who dares to find out because of the stuff we have publicly on the internet. We basically take a transform model, which we train, uh, and then we, one of the main components actually, would, which makes it, makes it all work is we also train at test time. Um, yeah, so basically when we make a submission, there's more training going on. Yeah, I think we believe it's it's a great benchmark. It's not just very fun to work on, but probably also one of the, if not the uh, most resilient or best AI benchmarks at the moment. Um, so we believe, or we kind of, to a good degree, try to su subscribe to the hypothesis of, of, of Francois, where basically the statement is, you if you solve that, you will at the very least have learned something useful in the process and in the best case have made a very significant step towards AGI. So um, Michael, do, do you think that your solution um, is in the spirit of the ARC challenge? Um, I'm, I know that Fran the, the, what we exactly are doing is not exactly what uh, uh, François has imagined would do well when he created the challenge. But personally, I would also prefer to define the spirit of the challenge by the rules of the challenge and not by what the creator of it had hoped would perform best. So uh, I see, so ARC is the first uh, priority. Do you think that a solution to ARC would be a step towards AGI? I think it depends on the solution. I think there's many ways to approach ARC in a very uh, narrow manner. You could say modern machine learning and deep learning approaches 
I think now, now there's been progress on it, but the fact that it's challenging for, challenging for deep networks, LLMs, easy for humans, I think makes it a good benchmark. So for me, the ideal solution is some general um, machine learning approach that happens to be able to do our tasks in, in, on top of other abilities. Yeah, my criteria would be, uh, so both how, how much engineering was done specifically with ARC in mind, and second would be how, how easy it's going to be to transfer that approach to some other domains. Uh, what matters is both the um, strong desire to solve the, the challenge and this technical capability. Usually the type of people uh, we tend to find are, have uh, computer science backgrounds. Yeah, we're just uh, in the early stages of doing a research lab. I do think, I feel that we are like extremely late to the party in terms of uh, like uh, training LLMs is a very ambitious goal. Like you need uh, crazy amounts of funding and crazy amounts of uh, GPUs and the uh, expertise to do that. So it's a bit of a, uh, like it's a slightly reckless in a in a way, but like we are, we just go for it. Start start with Arc, see, see what that leads, and uh, it's all motivated by uh, like um, fundamental uh, curiosity about how intelligence works, both in uh, in humans and machines. If if that sounds interesting, uh, go to uh, tufalabs.ai and uh, yeah, consider applying. <laughs>